My name is Patrick Darty. I'm a sculptor. Uh, I've been working for a, about 30 years, uh, working with sticks, and I know a lot about them, I guess, after all this time. I, I, um, I think Simple Shelter is a really important place in people's mind. They imagine going back to the Garden of Eden. They imagine stepping through the forest curtain for a minute without their encumbrances of their worldly possessions and, and just being out there, maybe finding a cubby hole to sit in. For me, childhood play was a, a big part of what informed my work as an adult. I guess I made lots of forts when I was a child. Well, I always say that a good sculpture is one that causes lots of personal associations. In other words, there should be some starting points in your own life that you can find an edge to start looking and thinking about the sculpture. And for things that are made out of sticks, there is, is a reference uh, to the natural world. And maybe it's your first kiss under a tree or it might be a bird nest you've seen. A lowly material like sticks can be conjured into a great work and, and yet everybody understands that work. They understand the materials basically, they understand the impulse for building it because they've had similar impulses themselves. I'm working here at Texas AM Commerce and one of the things that I'm going to do is use volunteers. There'll be volunteers from both uh, the student body and also from the faculty and hopefully we'll get some folks from town. So uh, we found a place in front of the library that has two kind of classic Texas trees, uh, live oaks there that are sitting on a, a kind of a little square of ground. It seems old. I mean it seems well worn. It seems integrated into the campus life. The student body is in fact your target audience. To put it somewhere where people can really easily see it and not just see it from a distance but, but be able to just step over and enjoy some of the subtleties of it. In some ways uh, our fear is that people are making objects, say sculptures or paintings, and that we won't understand those objects. You know, when their friends are working on it, it's beguiling, it, it's disarming. You think, well, you know, I could like that. You know, it, it's all right, you know, it's, it's something I understand. It could be part of the art world and still be something that's accessible. One of the students, Ashley, came up with a good title, which is Deep in the Heart, the kind of combination of these sculptural objects with the tree itself and uh, the reciprocity that goes between them.